Hello, and welcome back to Children's Reading Cove. This is Chapter 4 of Owl Diaries, Eva's New Pet. Too many pets. Wednesday. Lucy, Haley, and I were so excited to pet sit that school flew by. After school, our classmates dropped their pets off at my treehouse. First, we fed them a snack. They all ate really well. I can't believe you thought this would be difficult, Haley. They're all being so good. Then, diary, it all went a bit wrong. George's snake kept slithering down the toilet. General Slithers, come out of there at once. We couldn't get Lily's moth down from the light bulb. Steve, please get down from there. Zack's spider and Humphrey's spider kept fighting. Sid and Malcolm, play nice. Jacob's giant snail left a sticky path all over the couch. Ew! Macy's tree frog kept jumping onto the fishbowl, which sent Clive the goldfish flying. Zara's crab kept pinching Humphrey. Ow! Eva, control your pets! Kiara's bumblebee kept stealing sugar from the kitchen. And Sue's tortoise kept nibbling on the rug. But worst of all, all, Baxter still didn't play with any of them. By the time everyone had picked up their pets, we were exhausted and the house was a mess. Well, one thing's for sure, you're definitely not going to get 12 pets. We started cleaning up. I thought about why Baxter didn't want to play with any of the other pets. Normally, he's so playful. I tried to give him a treat to cheer him up, but even that didn't work. I'm worried about Baxter. Why do you think he's unhappy? Well, maybe he knows you're getting a new pet. He might be worried you won't love him as much. Haley could be right. He's a very smart bat, after all. You're right. He might not understand my words, but Baxter has always been very good at understanding how I feel. At bedtime, I finished sewing Baxter's costume for the fashion parade tomorrow. I dressed him up and he smiled. He did a little bow, which made me laugh. 
And that's when I realized something. I don't need another pet after all. Baxter, you make me so happy. You are the only pet I need. I gave him a cuddle. I think he understood how I felt because he smiled again and even ate a treat. As Lucy said, he's a very smart bat. End of chapter four. Join me again soon for chapter five. Bye-bye.